Hello everyone, this is the Minty Cupcake back for more Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak. And last we left off, we kicked Spat off of Sunny Peak and reunited two hamsters and learned a new move called Rub Rub. So now we're going to go back to the clubhouse and we get to open up a new area. Hooray! And, oh, what's this? Uh-oh, something must be wrong. Boss, listen to this, will ya? I went for a quick swim, and when I got back, Barrette was gone. She vanished. All I found was this. Hmm? What's this? Sweet little Barrette. Your silky fur glistens like the like my surfboard at noon. I've got something important to tell you. I'll be waiting for you at Sandy Bay. Your seaside Romeo Broski. Uh-oh. Whoa, this isn't a love note. Isn't this a love note? I guess. I guess so. Grr, I bet Barrett's chasing this Broski guy. What kind of name is that anyway? It's a bro name. Uh-oh. Oh boy, this guy better watch out. Oh, what should I do? I wonder if Brett's fallen for the seasick Romeo. This isn't good. Hey, I know. You should head to Sandy Bay and see what's up. That's a good idea, no? Oh no, I couldn't. What if... Oh. Yeah, I see the point. Um, I don't part in particular, but let's just go see what's up anyway. Ah, uh, let's talk to Boss, because he's just inconsolable. <laughs> oh man, he's falling for a surfer, dude. Hey, Hamtaro, Bijou. Great timing. Listen to this story. It all began when, and then, blah, blah. Only now, but he... Yeah, what? What kind of explanation is that? So you see, Seymour doesn't feel so hot. I need you, Hemtaro, to go to Sandy Bay and see what's up. Doo -doo -doo. Yay! We opened up a new area, and you see this door here? Yeah, that's where you go into polished rocks and use your rub rub powers. Um, I guess I'll just give you a demonstration now. I mean, I'm not, I'm really not gonna go into it today. But yeah, these guys. Ugh. Talking to these guys takes forever because they keep doing that stupid rub rub thing. Stop it! Ugh. I just, just, just let me show the the viewers what the rub rub thing is. Please stop talking. All right. I think I'm supposed to talk to the blue hamster, actually. Yeah. Oh no, never mind. I gotta talk to the yellow guy. Alright. Okay, so they take your rocks, what few I have collected, because I really don't want to go into this, and then you just polish them. You press A to rub, and see, we're like rubbing very feebly, and it gets shinier as you rub it. Oh wait, whoops. Uh, well, if you rub, if you try to rub this again, it won't do anything until your love meter gets higher. So then we can change rocks. And sometimes, like yeah, this one, uh, this one you didn't have to rub so hard. So look, it's a banana stone. Do 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 do. Yeah, it's basically just this whole gem collecting thing if you want to 100% this game. And those are the only two rocks that I had. So, I just wanted to show you guys what it was all about. And so, once our love meter gets up to the first, like, little thing, the little tick here, then it turns green and then we can rub rub harder. And that sounded kind of suggestive. And then when it gets all the way to the top, we don't have to go through all the shiny stages. And uh-oh. Oh, yeah! Um. Uh. What's he doing? 
He's at this. Whoops. He's at this something nasty. Okay. There's one thing I gotta show you guys. See this bucket here? Yeah, that's a bucket. This thing is like. God. See, when I first played this game, you needed, like, these three marbles for that sword thing that I showed you in the last episode. And I was just dumb. I, I, I could. I. This was before I consoled the internet for things. And I was trying to find this goddamn third marble. And I thought, and, like, and Snoozer, he gives you hints and he says that it's here. Well, I thought it was something completely different. Like, I thought I had to do something completely different to get this thing. But, I let my friend play with this game for a while, just for, just to dick around, I guess. And she came up to this thing and dig dig, which I never thought to do before. And lo and behold, the goddamn marble was inside. I had no idea for the longest time. And I, I just couldn't believe it when she did it. Ugh. Like, it, it, you, you really don't understand what I had to go through. Ugh, God. I need to talk to these guys because they're going to teach me a word that I... Uh, I don't think I need to talk to them just yet, no. And here's this brosky dude. Looky. Huh? You're looking for someone? Brett? Dunno. Who's that, bro? Oh god, he's a bro! Oh my god! Uh, never mind. Uh-oh, Broski doesn't don't know Barrett. What's going on here? Nope, I'm clueless. Sorry, bro. So, Broski, you didn't send Barrett a love note? And this all is all a misunderstanding? This is so confusing. Huh? If you see a young girl with a barrette, let us know, please. Like a rolling wave, I'm on it. Yeah, this surfer dude. One of, and one of those surfer dudes who's dumb as rocks. <laughs> no offense to surfer dudes. It's just a stereotype, I guess. I don't know. And let me just adjust this a bit, because... Okay. Now I think I gotta talk to these guys. Because they teach you a new word that we're gonna need later on. Howdy, are you two enjoying the sea? Grr, who told you to take a break? But, you know, I don't think this is gonna help me learn how to swim. Oh yeah, none of the hamsters can, around here can swim. Who's the one who has seen humans swimming? That's right, me! So quit gabbing and get on it. By the way, where are all the humans around this, around here? I mean, there's just hamsters. Like, they're not bothered by humans at all. I mean, ugh, never mind. I question things too much, and then my head hurts, and I end up rambling on. So trust me, this is how you swim. I don't know. I'm truly in a fuss fuss. And we have a new word, which is... Which we're gonna need later. Fuss, fuss, worry. You learn fuss, fuss. Who's Mr. Negative? You th if you think you can or can't, you're right. So it's all. So all you have to do is what I tell you. Bleh. I've got it. Now that you've got an audience, why don't you go for a for a test swim, huh? Huh? Me? That's right. Come on. Time to get moving. Move it, move it, launch! Ye yes, sir! But... Will I really be able to swim with it like this? Haha, <laughs> you worry too much. Get going. I've got a bad feeling. Oh. And he goes in the water and fails miserably. Oh, help! Help! Hey, what are you doing? At least they got those nice little hamster-sized inner tubes. You're not supposed to save. You're supposed to save, not be saved. But, I mean, no one can swim with no excuses. You failed your training miserably. 
Drat, listen. Pretend, pretend you didn't see that, will ya? That's the deal. What's the deal? Why don't you go? Shoosh! I'm the boss, right? Well, the boss always orders others around. Whatever. I bet you can't even dog paddle. What? Did you say something? No. Alright. Back to work. You need to practice. Mm. I can't hear you. Yes, sir. Let's go. From the top with feeling. One, two, three, four. Yeah, those guys. I don't like talking to those guys because they just go on and on and on. And we're going to need that later. And that's significant later. And we got to go up here and see these chicks. Eee! Oh my gosh! He is so dreamy. Um, yeah. No time to waste. I've got to tell him, don't you think? Uh, yeah. Oh, the other on the other hand, saying something in front of the other hamsters is totally embarrassing. Hey, that's it. If another soccer guy comes by, let's ask him to talk about that cute one. That's perfect. Um, yeah. Oh, I hope one of them comes by soon. And this is going to be significant later on. And there's a bit of a twist. And I think we gotta ask these girls about... Hmm? You need to look you with a gir for a girl with a barrette? Um, oh yeah, you just missed her. Try the other end of the beach. There's a hamster with a surfboard, too. Why not ask him? What do you think? Um, yeah. Alright. So, for some reason, we just had to go back there and talk to them. There's not really any significance to that. And oh, my nose itches so bad right now. I don't know why. Allergies. And so we talked to this guy again. Yo, I saw a girl wearing a barrette. She was with this totally kookus Maximus, and they went that way. What? Was he wearing a costume? Yeah, the dude was had a forky thing. explains everything. Broski says he never met Barrett, and yet she got a love note from someone. <gasps> Barrett's been tricked by Spat! That has to be it! And you didn't see Spat when you came in? That's... you guys are not very attentive. This is terrible! Well, you better help her out, dudes. Huh? I'm totally in your way, right? Keep your shorts on. And he goes up there. Where is he? Seymour's not here. He's farther out. There. Much farther. To undo him from harm, you've got to get on this board. Um, okay. Bwahaha! Got you! Oh, what a dick. Eek! Bwahaha! Seymour is not drowning. I lied! Ah. Uh, I should put the meme face on, but I'm probably not gonna because I'm lazy. What? That is so mean! Why would you trust a guy in a black devil costume anyway? You gotta be totally dumb. I'm sorry. Now that you're not safe, I'll not stay. Oh my gosh! This is quickly turning into a disaster! Hey, Barrett, are you okay? Bijou Hentaro! I'm Gatsby! You've got to find a way to rescue me! Help! <laughs> the Gatsby. Gatsby. Oh no! That is hilarious. You learned Gatsby. Hamtaro! We've got to find a hamster who knows how to swim. Hold on, Barret. We'll be right back. We're going to find someone to help you. Don't give up. 
Well, let's ask the surfer dude, because he surfs and stuff. And we have to go around and tell everyone gaspy. What? Someone's gaspy? Oh my gosh! Barrette's been washed out to sea. Are you listening? Out to sea! But, but, we don't know how to swim. Please use your surfing skills to rescue her. Let me get this straight. Barrette screamed. Phew! I thought the foam in my head was sloshing too loud. Broski to the rescue. Oh yeah, that sounds totally cool, but this bro can't help you, my friends. What? But why? You see, I, uh, don't swim. This board's seen as much water as a snake in a desert. What? You're serious? What are we gonna do? I'm Taro, we've got to find someone to help Barrett. Totally sorry, dudes. Aw, oh, man. Ugh, my nose! It itches. I ate white bread and I'm allergic to it. Dig dig. Well, Seymour knows how to swim, so. Gaspy! Oh no, 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 oh no, oh no! Barrett's been swept out to sea! I've got to save her! I've got to go now! Wow, that is a fast hamster. <laughs> All right. I'm on my way. Boyfriend to the rescue. This is Seymour. Hang on. Seymour. Thank you, Seymour. You're so amazing. I can always count on you. I think you're great. Huh? But you... You have a crush on Broski, don't you? Huh? What? Why? Oh, Seymour, you've got it all wrong. It was all a trick by that low-down spat. He's trying to trick all of us into fighting so he can ruin our love. What? So that love note's a fake? Oh, wow. Was I ever fooled. Hmm? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on. But the only hamster for me is, now and forever, Seymour. Barret? Aw, that's so cute. Yay, love boost. Seymour and Barrett are back together again. You know, I was in a panic when you came and told me about being a Gatsby. Total panic. But don't worry, I'm in Fendi mode now. Seymour. Oh, that's so cute. The boyfriend's defending his girlfriend. Fendi, defend. Well, I kind of guess that. So long as the guy's not too jealous. Hamtaro, Bijou, thanks, Oodles. Well, let's get back to the clubhouse. Someone might want their picture taken. Okay. Hamtaro, you should send the photo. You should see the photo studio. I guarantee your photos are top notch. See you soon. Yeah, I'll show you the photo studio, too, later on. That's what I bought that one item for in, like, episode one, I think it was. So now we get this board, which will be important later, like that strap. And then we get this note in a bottle. You got a jar! Huh? Inside here, it looks like something is in there. You got a riddle! To the lucky one who finds this letter, you must solve a tough riddle if you wish to find the treasure island. Me, do, me, re, fa, fa, re, mi, so, do. 
Hmm, that sounds like musical notes, and we've seen these music, these weird musical notes all around the beach. It says, can you solve the riddle? Ooh, this is so exciting. I love mysteries. Well, uh, we'll solve the mystery next time we meet on Hemtaro Hem Hem... Oh, never mind. Hemtaro? Seymour and Barrett seem to be totally hamangos now. All's, all's well that ends well, right? By the way, see that boat by the pier? Do you think if we took a cruise, we could, you know, be hamingos? Aw. But the captain's nowhere to be seen. I wonder where he is. Well, what is there a con Well, tune in next time for the next exciting episode of Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak. What does the riddle mean? What are the music notes for? Is there any connection to the missing captain? Find out next time, and keep it frosty!